Hello and welcome to 101 Cisco CCST Networking Labs. The topic of our lab is viewing OSI layers using Wireshark. The lab objective is to learn how to display and examine OSI layers. Using Wireshark, the OSI layers can be viewed using the Wireshark interface. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer that allows you to capture and analyze network traffic. When you capture network traffic with Wireshark, you can see the packets that are transmitted and received by network interfaces on your computer. By analyzing the details of each layer in a packet, you can gain a better understanding of how the OSI model works and how network traffic is transmitted across our network. This lab will help you to view the data contents being sent across the network. At each layer, you'll be using Wireshark to capture web traffic and examine the OSI layers. The tool that we are using in this lab is Wireshark, and you can use this tool on any operating system like Windows, Linux, or macOS. So the first task is to download and install Wireshark from Wireshark.org website. Once it's installed, open the Wireshark application and select the appropriate interface that is connected to the internet. So in our example is the wireless interface. So you double-click the Wi-Fi interface and a packet capture will start in this task. While a packet capture is running, you need to open a web browser and open softwareqatest.com. Here we are capturing HTTP traffic as it is normally not possible to achieve the decryption of the HTTPS traffic due to the secrecy algorithm used for encryption of data. So let's open a browser and type in this web address. So once you are able to see the website, you can stop the packet capture and type in HTTP traffic in the filter field and hit enter to show the HTTP packets. Under the bottom left pane, you'll find the packet details, which correspond to the OSI. HTTP is an application layer protocol. Here you can see you have Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, which corresponds to Transport Layer. After that, you have Internet Protocol that represents a network layer or Internet layer. Ethernet 2 relates to Layer 2 or Data Link Layer, and it contains the source and destination MAC addresses. And finally, we have got frame that represents layer 1 or the physical layer, and that brings us to end of this lab thanks for watching.